Hello, everybody. It's Kate Richberg, and it is our special third Thursday bonus um, broadcast. As you can see here, I'm still... Look, I'll just show you. The office is a mess. <laughs> so I'll show you. So I'm in, I'm in the clean area. I am also still in my walking clothes, but I wanted to show you. We're going to do this fantastic earring today. I'm going to show you how this earring will transform you by just adding the earring. <laughs> a kicky scarf, and some lipstick. I didn't even get ready before the show. Let me see if I can get that in my ear. Let me put some uh, Ruby Woo. It's my red of choice from MAC. Thank you, MAC. There it is. Let me blot. I knew you were going to ask the size, and I really, I'm going to have to check. I think the size, I'll, I'll tell you what the size of the cubes are. I have, I really don't know where my um, caliper is at all. So see, here we go. Let's put a scarf on. Let's pull it together. All right, there we go. Let's tuck it. All right, am I presentable? You can't even tell I'm in my workout clothes, can you? Let me fix this. All right, I've got, look, I even have stuff on the front of my shirt. <laughs> there we go, all right. But look at how these earrings dress up an outfit. Look at me, there we go, untuck them. Now I'm ready, okay, hello. All right. So let me talk to you about these earrings. And then I'll uh I will uh measure the cubes for you. Um and then we will um uh get started with it. Um everybody's here, which is awesome. JP is here. Um linking and everything. The earrings went up at midnight uh tonight. The, today is uh April 18th. So if you're watching this live, they went up at 12.01 AM this morning. Uh, we're about halfway sold out. I made a bunch of them for you because um, I was able to get more of the beads. These are some of the beads that I got uh, in Tucson this year. This year in Tucson, I got supplies for about five or six earring kits. Last month's pop art, you saw uh, those were super popular. I loved them so much. Uh, those were Tucson find. These are a Tucson find. And I've got a couple of more for you um, that are my Tucson finds for you. Um, and oh, Lynn, that's great. You know, JP did uh, post um, Ashley's podcast. Um, and Janice, do you want to drop it in the uh, comments? I know Janice posted it. You might have even posted it in the group, I think, um, which was really cool. So it's great to celebrate Ashley. Um, so JP, uh, drop it in the comments if you would. Um, Carrie, also, if you haven't yet, Carrie Keaton, check your email. I sent something over to you. So check that. Um, let's see. What else do I have? My dear mama is here. Uh, they are so sparkly. I do love them. I know I need a necklace. They're over there, um, doing, you know, hanging out. I'm going to move them all over. So the question was, is this my new or my old office? So this is the home office. This is the bead shop office. So if you can see, I'll turn it over. I mean, it's my finished garage. I'll turn it over. Look, see, I'm not proud. So right there is where I was doing the broadcasts previously. Look, I even have paint on my hand. So fabulous. Um, but I'm moving everything around. The new space is going to be here where I had some of my metal smithing stuff. We'll have lots of, lots more room. Um, 
I'm going to move fulfillment all the way from that corner. My desk is still going to be a nightmare over there, but we'll see. So I have today to finish it because tomorrow is great beat extravaganza and beyond, right, my friends? So this has to be organized by then. So that's what I'm doing. But I did want to take some time out to share this earring kit with you. So uh, let's take a look at them. Let me, um, let me take a look and see if there are any, um, if there are any, yeah, the pop art uh, sold out so well. And if you love those pop art, art beads, I'm going to see if I can get them. They're Czech glass. I don't know what my hair is doing here. They're Czech glass beads. Um, and I just loved them. Um, the vendor didn't have that many, but she's going to get some more made. So I hope we can get those beads. They were just so delicious. I loved it. Um, let's see. Okay. Let me add my overhead camera. I've got a little bit of a different configuration today. So bear with me here. Um, for that, let me move this over a little bit. Um, okay. So here's the kit. Let me put this, let me take these off. Let me, uh, put this up. Let me get rid of my tools here for a second and uh, let's do this. Okay. So here are the crystal cubes and I'll have you look at that. Let me see if I can see my caliper anywhere in this pile of. <laughs> Someone please come over and help me organize. Oh my goodness. It is a mess. Um, no, I have nothing to, oh, here we go. At least I've got a good picture. Uh, that's better than nothing. Okay. So let me grab this tape measure right here and we'll measure. Uh, okay. So here's the earring here. Now what you're going to get is the, you're going to get two, four, six, eight, ten crystal cubes in this kit. Um, and I called this kit, um, what do I call it? I called it time to sparkle, um, because it's always time to sparkle, right? Um, I just, I just love crystal cubes. So these are, when I put them all together in a long earring, probably dangles from about there. It's about a three inch earring. Okay. Like this, each cube I'll tell you, let's go ahead and dump it, dump the, let's not say dump, let's say carefully open up the earring kit and I'll show you what's in here, but let's take a look at the cubes first. The cubes might be, um, I'll tell you. One, two, three, four, five. Eight millimeters, eight millimeter cubes is what these are. Okay. Um, they fit up to a 20 gauge wire um, and they come in the pairs. They have, I've got like this light kind of apricot. I've got this clear with the volcano um, coating. I've got this really light, light blue, beautiful light green and beautiful light rose. So that's what you get. Okay. So, um, you also get two sets of ear wires. This is a different ear wire than what we carry normally on the site. I might add these because I really like this style and I did everything, um, in the shiny silver. I was going to do it in an antique, but the antique wasn't quite the same, didn't quite work as well for me. So you can also see here, I've got two ear wires and you've got four head pins. So if you wanted to make two pair instead of one long pair, you could. Okay. So, uh, and then you've got 12 of the eye pins here. So you've got plenty. 
So here are the long ones here with all five stacked up. You can do them in any color order you like. I'm going to use, I'm going to make a short one. And maybe I'll make this short one in these blues. Maybe. What do you think? That would be a two, a good two cube one. And then we could do it here with these line up beautifully as well. Okay. So all you need to do is put them together. Now we have at Bead Shop really great skill builders that are going to refresh your memory on how to do just simple and plain um, rosary loops, round loops, right? Um, yeah, I thought the shiny silver, I agree, Don. I think that the silver just kind of disappears and the beads really move forward. I was also thinking about doing it in the bright gold, but I thought that the shiny silver was the right one. So here's, here are these, right? So there we go. I've got them set, all batched, ready to go right here. And then I'll do these other ones. I think I'll put the greens on the bottom. I'm just going to put them on, get my thumbnail right next to the, um, right next to the bead and, and turn it at a right angle, bend it at a right, right angle. Same th thing here, bend at a right angle like that. Here, bend at a right angle. Bend, and now these, okay, like this. All right, now I'm going to use what we call our rosary plier. You can use them. We carry these on bead shop. I love the rosary plier. It has the cutter and the round right here. Um, you could also use your just your regular round nose and your um, individual cutter. This is the Zuron cutter that um, holds onto the wire when you cut it. So if I'm cutting here and I'm leaving about three eighths of an inch or so, maybe about five eighths ish, depending on how large you want your loops to be. See how when I cut it, it holds onto the wire and keeps it from flying away. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this cutter on these. This is the Zeron. It's a really nice cutter. So those are cut. You can also use the rosary where I come in and I'm going to use the cutter right in between clip and clip and clip just depending on, whoops, see that wire flew, but I'm holding it away from me so I don't hit myself in the head. You really need to be aware of what you're doing. Okay, so those are done and these are done. Okay, so um, I'm just going to make loops on all of these. I'm going to go down right here to the tip of my wire. I'm going to come in. And I'm going to make just a series of movements, of round movements. See how I, whoops, see how I'm grabbing the tool with the, um, with the round nose plier and looping it over. I'm going to um, clean my, my camera here. Forgive me just a second. I feel like it's a little, that's a little bit better. I felt like it was a little, um, blurry there. And I think that'll make the difference. So see, grab that wire right at the very end, right? And roll the head, that wire through the heads of the tool. Okay. So there's my, my loop. Let's go ahead and make it nice and even. All right. So there's those two. Let's keep going. I'm going to do this again at Kate Speed. The thing though, take a look at the side view here. Can you see? You can't see any wire coming through the heads of the tool. So when I do this, I roll the wire over at the diameter I want the loop to be. Okay. So I just 
One step, roll it back. One step, roll it back. One step, roll it back. So see how I've got a nice round loop there. Let me actually, I overruled it just a little bit. So I'm going to get it. I need to get it into my focal range. Sorry. Here, there we go. That's better. That's good. And then we'll do this one. I have a different camera set up to hold my phone today. So it's not the usual one that I have. So I'm a little, I'm positioned a little bit differently today. So My home is saying, remember the Beat Olympics. Remember when we did those during COVID? I timed how many wire loops I could make in a minute or whatever. That was fun. It's in the, they're all on a playlist, all of those daily COVID um, broadcasts. I haven't been able to go back and look at those, to be honest, because that was such a crazy time. But it was fun spending those mornings with you folks, for sure. Um, those were crazy days, for sure. Let's get that right here. And ugh, sorry, I'm a little further back, so it's not in my focal range. So let me slow down for a second, grab that end. There we go. It's hard when you can't quite see like you used to, right? The risk of repeating myself over and over. You need some really good light. There we go. So those are all together. Okay. So there it is here. So now we're going to put them all together. And thank you, JP. Janice posted all the tools. We carry all the pliers. We were talking yesterday. Emily was using her red handled ones that we love so much. Um, those are there. Um, they're my go-tos for sure. So let me come here. I'm going to come in kind of at an angle. I'll get the one that has my eye pin or my head pin at the bottom. I'll slide the eye pin on just like that. And I want to close it. My pins, when I did the right angle bend on these guys, I didn't Oh, sorry. I'm having trouble closing this. Let me get it back in my focal range and I'll get it back in the camera. Um, you don't want to, when you bend this wire, you don't want to get it right up against the cube. You want it to have just a little bit of movement. There we go. So that the wire doesn't nick the cube if that makes sense, right? So these have a little bit of movement on them. So I'm going to open it, close it up. Yeah, these crystal cubes are eight millimeter crystal cubes is what they are. Let me go ahead. Oof, that was the world's worst loop right there. Let me close it up because a loop is either open or it's closed. It's not almost closed. Again, sorry about pulling it out of camera, but I can't quite see it. There we go. So there are those two. Now let's do these. I'm going to go ahead and open. It doesn't really matter what loop you open. Yeah. And you don't want to scratch the coatings on these. I mean, the coatings are pretty um, sturdy on them, but you do want to take a little bit of care to not be super slapdash when you do these. This one's the middle, so I'll open that up. But here, if you break these up, you'll have two pair. You could just do it also with a single cube. A single cube would look really nice. And then four for the other earring. But I kind of like the two and three look. So let's get this one done. Open. And notice how I'm opening the loop. Like Emily was talking about yesterday doing her fantastic broadcast on the chain. Remember when we open that loop, I'm grabbing it right there with my flat nose pliers. Kind of hard to see. Right there. And I grab it. I pull it up. 
to open it, to lift it like a little kickstand on a bike. Put that ear wire in. Whoops. And I don't want to open the loop on the ear wire if I can help it, since they're tempered to be nice and stiff. The ear wire that's on the head pin is a little more malleable. Okay, so I'm going to open that up, lift, ear wire goes on, grab it right at the tip, and close. Last one. Here we are, open, slide this on and close it up. Okay, and you should have some eye pins left over. I gave you a few extras. So there's that. These would also look beautiful. Remember Emily's little trick yesterday <coughs> with the shadows in the jump ring? You could put an eye pin on the bottom here and um, put that little jump ring with the shadows so pretty that would make a nice little movement, nice little dangle on the end. But I also like this kind of contemporary feel with just the cube right at the bottom like that, right? Um, oh, thank you for your kind words, my friends. Yeah, the, the COVID broadcasts were um, were really nuts. Thank you, Stemhilly, for your kind words. I, I honestly, I have not been able... Um, <laughs> to go back and watch them because they were just, whew, that was a tough time. So let's put all of these on. Okay. Let me put this one on. You can see here's the shorter one. So it's a little shorter there. I'm going to, uh, let me go ahead and you can see it. That's the long one. It's a little bit longer. Let me put the other, the shorter one over here. So you can decide. Okay. Short long. I don't know if you can see them on me. The lighting's not great in this corner yet. Um, but they're fun, right? And if you do the shorter, you have a spare um, to work with. And Cindy, these are not Swarovski cubes. These are not the Swarovski, but they sparkle plenty um, with that. So they're, um, they're a good stand-in. Let me fix this cube is a little funny. It wasn't hanging quite right. So let me come in and fix it. There we go. Okay, like this. Janice, those are kind words. Thank you. That was, no, we all work together as a team um, during those times. That was, that was crazy. But it is is true that um, we did, Chris and I, every day, coming in, filling those orders. That's why those orders were so late during those times. We got like two weeks behind on orders always, but we were, uh, we did it. We did it. Um, yeah, Ma, we could do a spiral at the end of this eye pin. Um, let me show you since you requested that. Here are the... Um, like the pieces of wire that you have. Um, you could make a little spiral. You could save these pieces of wire. Um, here's the tip of this plier. And you've seen me do this before. There's the tip. I can rotate it in like that, collapse it down just a bit. Again, I'm a little far from my hands. So I said, sorry, I'm going to have to pull it down and get it in my focal range. There we go. So I've collapsed that down just a little. I hold it in the bottom portion of my plier, and I simply just spiral this up. Now you could spiral this as much as you want to. I'm going to keep spiraling. And once I get to the length where I might want to have a loop on it, I'm going to come in and I'm going to rotate that loop, sorry, back over the top, like so. Okay. So now I can add that loop <clears throat> to an eye pin. Remember how we were talking about adding a crystal. So I have a second kit here. 
So I'll dump out my second kit. Um, they will just go ahead and put one on here. And you could stack them. Like if you had um, a little bead or you could use a seed bead or something. Let me see if I've got a seed bead. All together like this looks a little, I think they're a little closer. Emily likes to say a little close talking. Um, we're going to get some, um, we just launched some bugle beads. Um, we're going to launch some more bugle beads. A bugle bead would be kind of fun on there. Let me see if I've got a seed bead though. Everything is in such disarray. Um, <laughs> anything on the floor? Anything on the floor? Maybe. Um, Oh, these are, well, no, those are 15s. Those aren't going to work. Uh, here we go. Maybe these will work. Let's see if 11s work on the on that wire. I don't think they will, but they might. Let me see. I grabbed two beads that make no sense whatsoever, but let's see if they work. Um, if one wanted to spiral around the cube, um, Audrey, I would use 24 gauge. Oh yeah, look at that size 11 seed bead works. Look at, so they just sit kind of apart. Here we go, see that? Yeah, I like, I love a spiral. That is for sure. There's that. Let me show you here. This is one of the bugles we're launching. I think it's next week, the rest of these launch. I've got a fun project for you. I'm going to put a little tiny seed bead. This is an 11 aught right there. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, Leslie, Alfred is so okay. He just hangs out in here. He likes to have office time in the studio. So it's very funny. The other day, Chris was trying to call him in to eat dinner, and we call it Alfie putting in his office hours. So he was putting in his office hours at um, sitting in my office chair. It was very funny. So no, Alfie's pretty easygoing. He has very little stress. I think he's sitting out on the patio right now looking for sticks. Okay. So see here, you can even put like one on the bottom with some little bugles or whatever. So there's so much that you can do. Yeah. I like the seed bead within the cube. That's an 11 knot. kind of hard to see. There you go. You can kind of see it there. Right. So this kit is a great jumping off, um, a great jumping off part. All of these, this is 20 cube, two kits. They have 10 cubes each. So two kits give you 20. Um, and you've got plenty of findings to play with and stuff here. So um, you can just go right. Uh, if you're watching me live today is April 18th, Thursday. It's the third Thursday earring kit. Um, we've gone through about half of the kits. Let me take a look and see. What we've got left, bear with me here just a second. I am looking on the back end of our website as we speak. Um, sometimes I can get a lot or, you know, a more generous amount so I can make more kits. Uh, we sold through about half. So we've got uh, about 50 kits or so left. So you'll want to, um, you'll want to jump on those. Um also, I wanted to let you folks tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you two things on the free tip Friday. Uh, we're going to preview the great bead extravaganza kits. Those TGBE kits go live. Um, let me double check and tell you the time. Hold on. I'm not sure if Drea, um, Let me see when they're scheduled. Uh, 
Um, hang on. Yeah. They go live tonight at midnight. They'll go live. Okay. So uh, check your newsletters. The, they'll also be, the link will be on the homepage too. Um, I'm going to put the link on the homepage there. Uh, they'll also be uh, under kits. But um, yeah, so those will be there. Those are definitely going to sell out. But we're also launching the special leather that I got for it. So if you see the leather as well, um, we aren't really able to get any more of that leather. So we've put it up, we're launching it tomorrow and we've launched it at a really excellent price. So if you love it, grab it tomorrow. Um, then on Saturday on the great beat extravaganza, I'll be demonstrating the, um, the cuff. You'll be able to do this design on any flat leather that you like. So even later on when the kits sell out, you'll be able to reinterpret this design um, to work for you. Janice, I love how you're asking about Top Chef Wisconsin. Um, my dear friend, Gregory Leone, who uh, owns um, a wonderful restaurant in downtown Milwaukee called Amalinda. He has been a three-time James Beard Award nominee. We're so proud of him. He has done some judging on Top Chef Wisconsin. So I'm very, very proud of my dear friend, Chef Gregory Leone. Uh, so I wanted to give him a little bit of a plug. So if you ever go, Milwaukee uh, is such a culinary destination. Um, the food in Milwaukee is fantastic. Um, hopefully we'll get to go out and see Greg uh, this fall. I've eaten at his restaurant. When we used to have beat and button in Milwaukee, we would make sure we ate there. Each time we were there, um, Greg used to live here in San Francisco and I've had many. Yes, Janice, you, we did go together. Um, really, really uh, exciting. But yes, he's been, this year he was uh, a James Beard uh, uh, semifinalist, but he's been in the finalists um, uh, two former years in a row and he does really uh, amazing work there. And yes, there's his Insta, right uh, right there, Chef Greg Leone. So give him a follow. Tell him, tell him that you're, uh, that you're all my best friends. <laughs> He'll love it. But when you are visiting Milwaukee, it is definitely the place to go. So, and there's Alma Linda. His food is really amazing. And yes, Mama, we are so proud. Uh, he's a good friend to my parents as well. All right, my friends, uh, I'm going to go, oh, whoops. You know what? My, let me actually what I did forget to do was plug in my computer. What, what am I thinking? Um, anyway, uh, that's that. Enjoy this earring kit. Uh, I hope you like it. Um, time to sparkle because it is my friends always a hundred percent time to sparkle. I will be back with you tomorrow uh, for Free Tip Friday. We're going to talk TGBE kits. I'm also going to preview. I've got to get this clean because I've got to find where I put all the new symbols. I'm going to go over the new symbols that we just launched on Tuesday for you. So uh, so you'll see that. I think you'll like them. Um, that is my story. I'm sticking to it. Don't forget, uh, if you uh, have a mind to, please go join us over on our Facebook group, The Bead Table. Hit us up on Instagram. Uh, give us a shout out at beadshop.com. We'd love to share your content on our stories. And if you have any questions, shoot us an email over at info at beadshop.com and we'll get right back to you. Uh, okay, that's it. Thank you so much, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow for Free Tip Friday. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.